In this video, we're going to learn how to make a histogram in R, both using base R and ggplot2. So we're going to start by loading the tidyverse and getting some data, the diamonds data set. And to make a histogram in base R, all you do is use the hist function and you pass in whatever variable you want to make the histogram of. Now, a histogram is a univariate plot, so you just need a single numeric variable to pass in here. So we're just going to look at a histogram of price. So run this and we should get a histogram of price it takes a little while but there it is now you can change the number of bins or breaks in the histogram in base r by specifying the breaks argument so we'll just make one more histogram setting breaks equal to 100 and it will make a histogram of the same data but there'll be many more bins to look at here so it gives you a finer grained look at what the distribution is so there it is now you can also make a histogram in ggplot2, which will give you some more flexibility in terms of coloring bars and giving pretty names to things and that sort of thing. So I'll just show how to do that as well. So in ggplot2, you want to take the data, pipe it to ggplot. For the aesthetics, you only need a single variable again. So in this case, the aesthetic x you set to whatever the variable is you want. We'll just do price again. And then you just want to do plus and add the geom histogram object. So when we do that, we'll create a histogram. It should look quite a bit like the first one. It has 30 bins. And you can add other options to increase bins and change colors and whatnot inside the geom histogram call here. So I'll just show a couple of those. We can say bins equals 100, like the one above in base R. We're going to color the outline of the bars black and fill with a different gray color. So this should look pretty much like the 100 bin one we did above. There you go. Two different ways of making histograms in R. All the code used in this video is available in the description below. If you found this video useful, drop a like. And if you're interested in more data science content, hit subscribe.